What's up, beautiful people? Games Music Life Podcast, episode 67? Six. 66? 66, I think. Is it 66? I believe so. Don't, I'm not fact-checking. Yeah. But 66, what's up, man? I'm your residential gamer, Nate here. This is Kev, Cal Kev. Yeah, so we here, man. As we know, Jay couldn't be with us today, so it is another Nas Lost episode. What do we want to talk about with Nas today, man? Oh, man. Oh, I don't know. I what don't is Nas' best album? Mm, mm, probably Stillmatic. I Stillmatic? Say. Probably. I'll say it was written. It was written. It was written. You know, probably it was written. Probably part. my favorite. Yeah, it was probably my favorite. But I, I maybe still mad. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, well, I don't even. Uh, yeah, <laughs> eh, you know, he still lost. <laughs> All right, man. So we're here, man. So let's get into it like we always do. What are we playing? Um, I finished Zelda last week. Me and Jay put a video up on our video game channel about that, kind of talking about the ending. Check it out. You know, check that out. I'm, I'm practicing currently in 2K because this guy over here put a beating on me that I just don't even want to talk about really. Um, so I'm actually practicing some 2K. And other than that, trying to get into Uncharted again. Uh, this weekend, oh, I'm gonna definitely finish that um, upcoming soon. But that's what I'm into, man. I heard that, man. You know, I was thinking about Uncharted the other day. I was thinking about getting back on that game, but mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, man. I just been on that 2K grind, man. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sitting there. I'm just waiting, man. <laughs> uh, you know who I feel like? I feel like number one oh, on the Afro boy. Samurai. Oh, you know what boy. I'm saying? Number two got to fight everybody. You got number one headband. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> number two got to fight everybody. Number one, you got to get that number two headband for oh, you to see me number one. So yeah. that's what I'm feeling like right now. Um, but yeah, man, that, that's really about it, man. Uh, mm-hmm. Just just out here farming for uh, MT and getting my team together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, hey, the beat I took, man, I can tell that's all the only game you're playing right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. hey, I've been saying I was a dog at it for a while yeah, now. Boy, you know right. what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna get this platform and give you enough <laughs> time to gloat anymore, man. So let's get into it, man. So video yeah. game news. Uh, Digital Foundry will have an exclusive Scorpio reveal tomorrow. Yeah. What do we expect? Yeah, man. What do we expect? Some terror floops, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the terror floops, man. We ready. And so it comes back to what exactly they've been reporting from get go is like it's, it's more powerful than the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Um. So it's like what one point five more terror floops than than the PS4 Pro. Something like I mean, that. as amazing as Un- Uncharted, what's the game Horizon looked mm-hmm. on the PS4 Pro? I can only imagine they can make this game look. But I do like the fact they're getting it out the way now. Which means at E3, they're just going to have games, games, games. Which is all Xbox needs to do. Just right. make some daggone games. Pay pay Rockstar to get the daggone Red Dead exclusive. Nah, man. Too many people got PlayStations, man. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to secure the bag. Rockstar stands to make more money if PlayStation is in on it. Blackmail them. <laughs> Something, man. <laughs> like, nah. I want, I want, I, only, when, when all platforms are good, we all win as gamers, man. And right now, Xbox is getting kicked in the head right now. I think Scorpio's <clears> going to be dope. <throat> you know what? From what I was reading is that they're saying that it's going to actually come out this spring. Mm. So it's like it's on the way. So that's kind of cool, man. And there's a lot of people are speculating 4K, uh, 30 yep, frames per yep, second steady. Yeah, they, so I mean, that's that, pretty cool. That is going to be a, a selling point. But one thing that gives me worried, I wanted to ask you about this, is the fact that keeps saying this is a premium device. Mm. You know what? When I I hear premium. I hear they're going. They're they're going for the bag. Yeah, they're going for the bag. <laughs> I mean, they absolutely it. are going to go for the bag. Yeah. Six ninety nine. I wouldn't say is out of the ballpark, man. I would say probably five ninety nine is what. Five ninety nine is a sweet spot. Oh, that's expensive, man. It that's is expensive. A high it, but, you know, but coming from somebody like myself who PC games, I got a ten seventy video card. I got a beast of a computer to play video game. I mean, computer games on. I don't think it's going to appeal to me or other PC gamers. But I do think that people who do not like PC gaming or a little bit afraid to get into it, but want that. You know that that graphic bump. They're gonna. They're, they might. You know. Go ahead. I, and do you it. know. I think that that Xbox is kind of shifting their focus the wrong way. I don't think people care about graphic performance as much as we're making it out to be. Like you no. gotta have some games and they gotta be fun. Exactly. That's gonna be first and foremost. Exactly. I mean, PC has always been there, but I mean, PC ain't got no games. You know what I'm saying? They get a lot of ports of the really good games, and they get them a lot later. A lot of times they're buggy or they're broken. Like, uh, it, it's tough to want a PC game. But, I mean, if you just want the ultimate experience, that's going to be the way that you go. But mm-hmm. most people don't gravitate that way. They want a console game because it's simple, it's easy, it's plug and play. Right. Booyah, you know what I'm saying? And you got issues. You don't have anything to deal with any issues, I should say. No yeah. virus. Not say viruses, but, like, you know, blue screens of death, things of that nature. PCs just have issues. Yeah. <clears throat> your video card go out. Your RAM is bad. Your motherboard. That, you know, those are things that all go out, which can also happen on a console. But with a console, you got a support team you can call. Yeah, and exactly. actually get a new one sent out, RNG it. Whereas, um, you know, PC is like you're kind of on the hook on your own, right, man? You know? Yeah, I'm saying, man, you could tile trick it. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> hey, this is a telling time for Microsoft, though, bro. I will say, like, one thing that I really never wanted to give into was the fact that when you were saying Microsoft might bow out of it, you know, just kind of go to software. Mm-hmm. And like, I think in this case here, man, this is going to be a very, very big year for them if they can do it. I mean, as far as they have to win, they have to at least sell some units or at least 
become a contender. In there. Yeah. yeah, because you got the Switch. All the interest is there with the Switch. You know, PlayStation is moving numbers, you know, doing Lion King numbers. Um, so Microsoft has to do something. Yeah, I know? agree. I agree. Uh, I think that uh, Scorpio will be good. I'm not going to front. I think mm-hmm. that it's going to be good. They know that they messed up, so yeah. they're going to have to give us something. Yeah. And they're already saying, like, listen, don't worry about it. This is going to be the best performing console of all time, Yeah, uh, you know, to date. So I, I think that it'll be something good. I'm excited to see it. And the fact that Digital Foundry is doing it has right. me really believing that, you know, this hardware may be on par with uh, with some low-spec gaming PCs. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, we'll see what happens, man. I'm, I'm I'm always open. You know, we're all gamers. So if it's, if it's a good product, they got the games. They'll yeah. get us. Bring in you know? the floops. Bring in the floops. <laughs> all right, man. So next door, we got Persona 5 is killing it. Initial thoughts. Let's go ahead and move past that. Yeah, man. Listen, I, uh, hold on. Before <laughs> we move past, man, I was, I was watching uh, I was watching the other guy. Uh-huh. He was uh, he was streaming it. Uh, and, man, that game looks so bad. It does. It I, don't understand, like I don't understand the hype. I don't understand. I don't it. get it. I, and, and everybody gets on me like, Nadia, you're a hater. Listen, I don't get it. It, it doesn't look fun to me. It seemed like cutscene movies. It was, yeah, it, was like a, it was like a digital Goosebumps book. Yes, <laughs> Like. choose your own story yeah like, I, I didn't get it like you're in high school you got demons you got this and that I'm like it was very get, weird get this all the way out of here now, man. I mean mind you I had to watch it for 10 minutes with no sound and then <laughs> another 20 minutes with no commentary so I have no clue what was going on but it didn't look like fun it looked like a lot of cutscenes and mm. you know kind of picking stuff out so I'm probably gonna stay away but it looks like it's doing good so whoever got it if you're enjoying it man yeah. you know, kudos to you I'm glad leave I'm in the comments what is it that we should look for in the game yeah. I, I, I've even seen other people stream it and it just didn't seem fun to me no I don't, so, it don't seem fun yeah, get out of here alright yeah. man so Destiny 2 uh, DLC will be on the PS4 exclusive for at least one year I'm not even gonna read the caption on the part. Listen, we already knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> we already knew that, man. So like you putting that little dig in there about Microsoft, about Microsoft, we already knew that they were gonna get it. Activision paid, you know, Sony paid Activision to pay. I mean, man. you know, it's it's the typical uh it's typical scenario, man. Xbox ain't got no games, baby. <laughs> they got you the game. They're just not gonna have the DL, the exclusive DLC. Like they ain't got the game. What, what they're not gonna have is like there'll be certain guns you can get on PlayStation. For a year? Yeah, and there's gonna be certain uh like one um, strike that you could do so, now, mind you, that's what it was on Destiny One. So I don't know what it's gonna be on Destiny Two. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what it's gonna be on Destiny Two. For I, a whole year, that's a long time. That's listen, a long I, time. I, I picked up the red flag of the PlayStation, and if I have to yeah. get it on PlayStation, I will. I mean, on a loot based game, y'all ain't even gonna get the Top Gear loot. No, we get all the year. Top Gear. It's only like one exotic you couldn't get. That was last year's game. They got to do it some. Nah, man. I think I think this year they they abandoned the Xbox. No, listen, they do that. People are gonna go nuts, man. No, they and they're doing everything they can to get you to pre order. I mean, you could turn. <laughs> I could turn my Xbox on right now, and it will say pre order Destiny Two. Yeah. Like, leave me alone, man. I'll pre order when I'm ready. You know. <laughs> Although the the uh, collector's edition sold out immediately. Wow. And the uh, digital collector's edition hasn't went on sale yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna get that one or not. But you know, I'm gonna get it. I want to get into the beta and check it out. Yeah. I listen, man. Uh, any of the uh, viewers, the followers of this channel, just know uh, I'm writing a letter out to Bungie. <laughs> I'm going to request You're that they send me. That, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got their address. I got their mailing address, man. I, I just got to type up the letter, man. And I'm going to request Strongly that they send me this letter. game. Absolutely. I, I bought this game twice. I bought it twice. I bought it for PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was even in the beta. I was even in the beta. Uh-huh. I, like, I was expecting this to be a good game. And it was okay, but... Then it just fell off, man. And I had already, I had already sunk what, maybe like, uh, maybe like seventy bucks into this game. Now, mind you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the boys, the boys fun to do. <laughs> but uh, I bought it twice, man. I right. bought it twice, and I probably logged a grand total of ten hours playing that game. Yeah. So I feel like Destiny Two, just for me being interested, after I was a member of the beta, mm-hmm. gave you guys my hard earned money twice. At least you could do, man. Just hit your boy off with that free copy, man. Hey, get that trust back in me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't trust Bungie right now. I think they're trying to do that with everybody. You know, they, they went up the bungee name, in. trying to pull everybody in, pause. Yeah. But um, they got to do something, man. Get yeah. the interest out there. Spark it up. But, you know, we'll see. And let me know how that strongly word letter works out for you. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm mailing it in, man. So I'm expecting <laughs> I'm expecting some uh, some good feedback. And yeah. if they don't give me feedback that I need, it, 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 listen, it, it might turn into a series. Okay. You know, listen, I, I'm all for it, man. I'll be the recording. <laughs> all right, man. So last story we had video game-wise was Mad Cat's Files for Bankruptcy. I, listen, Thank I didn't even, the heavens. Right. I didn't even know Mad Cat's was even still around. Listen, man. Listen, Listen. I, we talked about this before. I wouldn't, when I had the PlayStation 2, which is the last time I really saw Mad Cats really get, you know what I mean, their thing off as far as selling a lot, I wouldn't play people that had Mad Cats controllers. Right. If you didn't have an official PlayStation controller, I was not going to play. I felt it. disrespected a little bit. <laughs> like, if I went to the homie's house and they handed me a Mad Cats, it's like, yo, dog, 
Why you ain't tell me that, you know what I'm saying, you ain't had no other controller? <laughs> I would have brought mine, dog. Like, you know, you saved that Mad Cat's right. controller for, you know what I'm saying, that guy who's a friend of a friend. Exactly. It's like, you know what I'm saying, y'all all playing. It's like, make sure my boys got the good stuff. Nah, what you do is and that's then, for your, like, little, little cousin. Yeah, you tie you know it to the power cord. Like, he playing, <laughs> yeah. and you just tie it on it. Like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, here you go. Yeah, because they like, extra buttons. It wasn't even the right posture like the controller was whack man. listen man I, I i honestly i took that as a sign of disrespect yeah. if you tried to hand me a mad cat's controller it's like oh bro you don't even respect me enough to give me some official man. right you give me right. some bootleg jo- yo mad cats man they deserve they deserve burning hell okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there right now <laughs> for all of the wicked stuff that they've done over the years you know what i'm saying hey, let it out. how many how let many patients did mad cats break up <laughs> over the years man how many little kids did they take advantage uh, of selling them this uh, garbage? Hey, I will say though, back in the day, I mean, we're we're older, we're, we you know pretty well off right now as far as money wise and stuff. But back in the day, when it was that nine ninety nine controller, it came in clutch at times, man. Like you know, man, you listen, get but it, man. it was fresh out the box. One of the buttons didn't work, dog. Oh, we had some rattling inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like man, yo, L one don't really work. Well, I guess I don't need it for this game, <laughs> right? But, you know, hey, whatever, like. Right. Yo, and then you got the, the the repeating joint. I'm like, yo, man, this is cheating. This ain't right, man. It, it ain't right. I'm glad they finally put a stop to it, man. I should have been petitioning to uh, get like get, to get like some type of, of copyright law infringement, right? Uh, you know, claim against them. But uh, it's all good, man. They finally they they've died off. And all right, yeah, good riddance. Peace out. No doubt. All right, man. Let's get into these sports, man. So yeah. I, I had to talk about, it, man. So Lance Stevenson, right? Yeah. He scores a layup with two seconds left on the clock instead of dribbling it out. And the Raptors try to rough him up at the end because the yeah. Raptors lost by like seventeen. What did you think about that, man? Lance, even the goat, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's back on the Pacers, man. It's like it's like Michael Jordan coming back. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> he did know. say that, man. I, I I just I laughed when I saw it. <laughs> I know Larry Bird loved it. Uh, man, listen, listen. I like the fire that the Pacers that needed it though. Said. They do. They need somebody to you know what I'm saying. Can they ruffle the feathers a little bit, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? And Lance Stevenson, he's that guy, man. He's a legend. At but when did, it be, when did it become an unwritten rule to, like, I mean, I guess it is kind of bush to score like that. Because I guess the uh, the Wizards got into it with uh, with the uh, Golden State the other night when JaVale McGee shot a three-pointer, yeah. you know, because the clock was running out. But I'm like, and they try to get at, you know get at him. And I'm like, wouldn't it become this big dust-up of what not to do? And it's like <laughs> That is you, disrespect it, once it the is, game is over. Just it, it out. Don't make us inbounded again and it, all that. It but. is, man. But, it, you know, if you don't want him to do it, stop, stop him. him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, listen, I like it, man. I like it. It's getting chippy. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Right for the playoffs. Yeah. Shout out to Lance Stevenson. Yeah, no doubt, man. Eighth grader. Yeah. All right, man. So Tony Romo, man, he um he retired. So he's actually told you know, decided to go re- you know, retire instead of playing anymore. Um I didn't really care. I mean, as as an Eagles fan, it's like whatever, man. I don't really particularly care about him. It doesn't matter. He's a mediocre quarterback. He won two playoff games in his career. I didn't really see what the fuss was about him. But the thing I wanted to talk about though was with him now retiring, does it open the door for Kaepernick? I mean, I feel like he's best available at this point because I mean, who else is on the market besides Kaepernick and Cornbob? Uh, you got Cornbob. You got Jay, really Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, come on. They had what's my man's name? Glennon. Out here getting the bag this offseason. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know what I mean? There's there's a market for cap. Somebody gotta give him, give him a job. Somebody's man. gonna pay him. Somebody's gotta pay him. Man. I think I don't know if it's because he wants too much money, or what is it? You know, ten mil a year for a, a, com, a competitive quarterback. I feel like that's not too much. Yeah, because he went he threw fourteen touchdowns and two picks last year. He just yeah, sucked. they were just he was just wasn't on a good team. Yeah, man. I, I I think the perfect situation for him is actually uh, Kansas City. I think Alex Smith just does too well out there. But I think he could be out, he could be like a weapon for him. And Andy Reid is a perfect coach because he'll give him a shot. Man, listen, if you got two quarterbacks, you got zero quarterbacks. Yeah, that's very, that's very true. That <laughs> Let Alex Smith true. keep cooking. You yeah, know, I wouldn't even look Caps way, even though I feel what you're saying. I do feel like uh, that. That would I'm be... just looking for perfect situations. The Jets, somebody, I give him a chance. Just not the Browns. Denver. I still feel like Denver's Denver is a great fit. Denver. Denver needs a quarterback. Back to yeah. Texans. That's what I'm saying. The, the Texans, Texans need a quarterback. Any... Listen, man, get a man a call. He said he gonna stand. He yeah. said he gonna he's, stand. He's gonna stand. He, he took he, his protest. And already, listen, for the right, right amount of money, he'll cut the fro. <laughs> you know what you know, I'm saying? Just, he'll cut the fro. All right, man. So my Carolina boys won the chi- the title. I had yeah. to get, had to talk about that in there. Um, I feel like Michael Jordan should open up the uh, the Carolina vault and give him some more player exclusives yeah. because I don't like the fact that he's out there playing in Team Jordans. It really <laughs> wore with my spirit. He couldn't even give him thirty one. Nah, man. Oh, he, that's cold. Nah, not, you know, last year he probably didn't feel like he was worthy enough. Last year they gave him some some shoes and they did well. They had the, the, the custom fours okay. that came out, and this year they had some some pink ones that were kind of fire. The thirty, he did. They have thirty ones. Okay. Um, 
But, yeah, Carolina won, man. I'm happy. I know all you Duke fans out there are burning, and I love it. And, uh, yeah, man, Carolina for real. For real. Somehow LeVar Ball still wins in this. Yeah. I don't know I don't know how, you know, he manages to come up off of North Carolina success, mm-hmm. but somehow LeVar Ball wins in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, UNC was actually my favorite to win, but I had to ride with UCLA just on the strength of his trash talk. <laughs> Like, I mean, what else was I supposed to do, you hey, know? Man, Uncle Rico did, when they lost, people were happy they lost. Hey, listen, man, I, I was happy that they lost just because I was going to get to hear what he had to say some more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I knew he was going to double down. Yeah. I knew it was coming. He Absolutely. wasn't going to bow out. No, we knew, nah. he, he knew he was going to. You know, you know he know definitely was going to talk about it more, but if we get to hear about this guy more and more, man. That The rumor now is that his son's going to hire him as an agent. Yeah, man. The roof so, is the ceiling. roof is the ceiling. <laughs> UNC. UNC. All right, man. So um, NFL news. So this was kind of shocking to me. The Seahawks made it known they're trading, you know, Richard Sherman. He's on the block. The rumor has it that the Patriots called about adding him. I don't want him going to the Patriots. I think that's cheating. That's cheating. It's cheating, man. I think it's not fair. And it's it's weird for the Patriots to be the other side of the coin because for they're used to always getting rid of players towards the like, what they feel is the end of their career. And every time they get rid of somebody, they go wherever they go. They're not, they're not good. But for them to actually be on the other side, whereas the Seahawks are kind of giving up on Richard Sherman. I wonder and, why. Like, because, I mean, it's not like he had a know. down year. I don't anything. know. And he's not been, like, super vocal or outspoken or, you know, had any scandal right. around him or anything like that. So it's kind of weird that they're so willing to part ways with him because uh, he's still one of the best corners in the uh, in the league. And, I mean, that's not something you come around, come right. across every day. Right. I, it was kind of shocking to me they would they want to get rid of him, you know, because, I mean, shoot, they still they still are really a contender. They yeah, still could win it. So I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. You know. I hope wherever he goes, I wouldn't mind the Eagles picking him up. But we do bad picking up older corners, though. So I take that yeah, back. Yeah, I was I gonna say man. Namdi. You should learn. Yeah, Namdi never. And I can't. I can't watch scandal on the strength of Namdi. So <laughs> regardless, man. All right, man. So the Raiders brought in Marshawn Lynch for a visit. Um, will this dude? Is it a comeback? Yeah, man. I mean, he's already let them know that uh, you know he's intending on coming back from retirement, and uh, it's looking like though. it's a. Hey man, that's beast mode. That's yeah, beast mode, man. I put he, the team on my back. But he wasn't even good as last year with the uh, Seahawks. He was nah, nicked up. He was good, man. Like I mean, they got they got to the Super Bowl. They would have handed him the ball. Was man, that listen, that year? Did he? But I thought he came back the next year. He was hurt. Was he? You know, he might have been. He might have been hurt leading into yeah, the playoffs. But I'm saying, up. man, listen, they were one hand off away from the second ring. We already know what that you was. Know? They didn't want Beast Mode to be able to win that MVP because of the the whole interviews thing. Yeah, that's one. That's one reason why. Listen, but, the Raiders let you listen. You can say whatever you want for the Raiders. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> well, yeah, the Raiders trying to get all that money because he's from Oakland. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where he's from. And this last two years before you know they, they move and go to Vegas, so. I think it's kind of whack they're bringing him in like that, but you know, all the, I will say it'd be good hey, for the fans. I, I would, I would agree with you, but he's coming in on a contending team. I mean, Derek yeah. Carr bounced back from this injury. Man, that team looked good last year. They did, but they lost their running back. They got a void. They do. They, yeah, they so need a boom. running back. You know what I'm they saying? They do boom, need a running back. Go. Yeah. All right, man. So Derek Rose towards <sighs> towards meniscus out for the rest of the season. What's next for this guy? This is your guy. What's next for him, man? <laughs> man, I don't know, man. Watching PJ and you know, I'm just getting ready for graduation at this point. I because. Uh-huh. Like can can Derrick Rose come back after what is this third fourth knee injury? Like I don't know, I don't know. And I, he was looking good this year. Like he was just starting to get a little bit of uh, pep in his step. Man's game was starting to look confident again. And then mm. boom, here we go. He's having knee surgery now. You see that uh, we'll miss the rest of the year, and it's like, oh, you know, the Knicks wasn't doing it. Are, are they even scheduled to go to the playoffs right now? I don't think so. I think they're I in total so. tank. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, oh, he's going to miss the last two weeks of basketball. Right. Like, oh, big deal. Right. Uh, but I, I just don't know who picks up Derrick Rose. I mean, at this point, he's got to be a six man. Like, I'm sorry. I wouldn't let him start for my team. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it hurts me to see, you know, him have to go through this, especially knowing he was looking for a max. Yeah, yeah. You know. I think him looking for a max is definitely just – just his, you know, just grandeur. Like it's not gonna happen. I wouldn't pay him a max. But with the with the money being what it is, he's gonna get paid. You know, he'll definitely get a lot of money. Um, Reggie he'll Jackson mid level. Yeah, he'll get, he'll get mid level. But yeah. Reggie Jackson here getting paid a lot. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he'll get. I mean, and uh, shoot, Mike Conley got a huge deal. Although I do think Mike Conley is more important to the Grizzlies than Derrick Rose would be. Um, I don't know what would be a good fit for him. I just think the triangle is not a good fit for him, especially with Melo. Not knocking on Melo, but the minute he passed it, he's not getting the ball back. He knows yeah. he's not getting the rock back. So, as a point guard, I definitely think that would be, as a pass, as a shoot first point guard, I definitely think that would be a horrible offense to be in. So, whoever gets him next year, I think, would be somebody that's just upbeat and going and running. Shoot, I wouldn't mind him going to Minnesota and, and let Tibbs run him to death some more, you know? <laughs> but, um, 
you know, I think whoever wherever he'll go, he'll be better off than what he is in New York. He needs to go to Phoenix, man. Phoenix would be Sign good. Sign on a practice squad player, man. Just let the just let the medical team <laughs> take care of him for a couple years, man. You know, then he can he can really be revived and yeah. come back properly. Absolutely, man. So yeah, shout out to Derek Rose. And hopefully he'll get it together, man. All right, man. So LeBron. So tonight they played the, the Celtics though too. But LeBron actually was talking. You know, he downplayed the regular season. Um, you know, as far as games or whatever. And I thought, you know, does this hurt the NBA that he mm. talks about this? But the thing I had to realize, though, is LeBron, this ain't about him. Like, LeBron's playing for rings. Right. That's all he's playing for. He's been to six straight finals, and I don't think if any other player in the league has more, not, not so much pressure, but he already says he's trying to get that ghost off his back, which is Michael Jordan. He's trying to get to six. That's right. what he's trying to get to. So as far as everybody else downplaying the regular season, the regular season in the NBA is good for the fans. It's good for people to get you know get their stride or whatever. But I think a lot of teams feel like they can just turn it on, turn it off, which I think the Cavs are going to do because we talk about them every year. Like they're struggling, they're not going to get well, they're not going to do this, do that, and then they end up doing exactly what we thought they were going to do. Right. You know? I mean, I feel like it's not really a bad thing what he's saying because all he's really saying is that you know, hey, don't put too much into these regular season games. Like they lost the, uh, I think they got swept season series against the Bulls. Mm-hmm. Basically, what he's saying is like, listen. Just because they beat us through regular season, right, don't right. think that come playoff time, you know right. what I'm saying, it's going to be problems for us. Like, right. you know, hey, it is what it is. I I, I do feel like maybe he might have uh, misspoke when he said that, you know, the regular season may not be so important or mm-hmm. whatever, just because, I mean, all those games count and, uh, you know, let us see what that team is going to be. But you can't put your stock in a regular season, man. Nah. Every, everybody knows that, you know, the chips get laid on the table come playoff time. Right, because right now, like tonight, Boston will probably beat Miami, beat uh, Cleveland, and that'll be the fourth time they beat them this year. Mm. But if it comes into a seven-game series, man, like, they're not going to beat, you know. Yeah, I don't uh, think they they would have enough. No, they don't. I mean, because the thing about is, Isaiah, as good as Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas is, he's not guarding anybody that's listening to this podcast right now. <laughs> and don't tell him I said that because he's 5'9", and them dudes like to fight, so. Don't tell him I said that. But I just don't think – I mean, we all know when it comes to a seven-game series, it's going to be very hard to beat LeBron James in a seven-game series. Right. That's yeah. what it comes down it, to. It just is what it is. All right, man. So, my MVP, I'm, I'm dialing back, man. Russell West, Russell Westbrook, Alfred Brook, joins Oscar Robinson with the uh, most triple-doubles in the NBA season. He needs 16 assists to uh, average a triple-double for the year. And mm. he's going to – I definitely think he's going to do that. He's going to get it. Um, but I, I got to give him an MVP. Really? I got to, I man. Still, I, for it to never have happened before, and I called my pops today, too, and I kind of asked him, because I, I went around for Oscar Robertson, yeah. and I wanted to ask him about like how impressive was he and how oh, impressive is this. Nice. Yeah, how impressive is this record? And my dad was just like, man, this is one of those seasons where you can argue it being one of the best ever. Mm. You know? See, for me, man, what what really kills me is I would get these notifications <clears throat> about Russell Westbrook mm-hmm. notched another triple-double in a loss <laughs> to X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> if you're not translating those triple-doubles into wins, I don't mm-hmm. know how valuable that stat is, you know, if it doesn't lead to wins. Because, I mean, does it really matter if you're not, you know, I mean, they're going to make the playoffs and all that, but if you're not really competing for a championship, like – if you look at the the Rockets right now, we're saying, oh, man, listen, they could go deep in the playoffs this mm-hmm. year. I don't think anybody's expecting Oklahoma City to do much come playoff time. Like, any success mm-hmm. that they have, <clears throat> we'll applaud and cheer for it. But if they get, you know, first-round bounce, mm-hmm. we'll say we understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if, if Houston gets first-round bounce, like, it's going to be like, yo, what happened? Right. What, what caused this implosion? Because yeah. that team is really clicking. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we got to keep it real, man. The reason that team is clicking is because of James Harden. Yeah, be. Like, there's nobody else on that squad that is – you know what I'm saying, super-duper talented. Not not to say that they don't have talent on that team, yeah. but he is the leader of that team, hands down, without a question. Um, yeah, so I, I just – I can't I, – I, the triple-double stat, it's cool. It's 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 a nice stat or whatever, uh-huh. and it's a good accomplishment for Russell Westbrook, but does that make him the most valuable player? I still would have to give that that uh, that edge to Harden. Yeah, he I did would, more. I wouldn't be upset if either one of them got it. I think, like I said, if I had a vote, I would, I would vote for Russ. Um, but I wouldn't be upset if Harden got it. Cause I definitely think it's between those two. Yeah, you know to get it. I think the triple doubles are, are kind of pushing Russ over the hill, and I feel like that's super unfair to Harden mm-hmm. because he's doing everything, man. Like this guy, he's if, out there. If he's it was back and forth, because you figure last week we were talking about him hitting the game winner when he went, yeah. you know, coast to coast for the layup to win the game, and we were saying that was the same week that LeBron sat out. We we're like, okay, did he solidify the MVP at that moment? So yeah. I think it can go up in the air. I think it's just really how people feel, man. Because a lot of people, keep it all the way funky, don't like Russell Westbrook. So yeah. 
the voters, they might not vote him in on the strength for that. <clears throat> uh, so, I feel like, but Russ is getting all the pub about it, though. Harden, he is. Harden kind of rides, uh, you know, in between the cracks somewhere. Yeah. But uh, it's just so sad because it's like he's actually got his team, you know, I don't it's hard to say contending, but it's like, hey, man, you get over the hill, Golden State, man. Anything's possible at that point. Yeah. But nobody expects anything from uh, from the Thunder. So uh, we, just, we know they're going to lose. Yeah, we know they're yeah. going to lose. Yeah. All right, man. So last sporting news we had, man, was Tracy McGrady was selected to the Hall of Fame. And who did he pay? <laughs> Seriously. Like, who, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Tracy McGrady. I yeah. like him. I think he's a very good player. I think he's he, – he had two scoring titles. I did find yeah. – end up seeing that. And I forget what his number was. He's kind of high up on the list for points. But he never had any MVPs. Never had any championships. I don't know if listen, it's such a listen. slam dunk that he's a Hall of Famer. I, I'm, I'm going to give you the real kicker here. Tracy McGrady never made it out of the first round. Oh, damn, yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> so, so not, not, we're not even just talking about he doesn't have any rings. This man never made it out of the first round. You Actually, you know what? I take that back. No, he did. He did, he did make it out of the first round with, with when he rode the pond <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. the Spurs in 2013. Yeah. Do you know how, right. much, how many minutes he logged in that series uh, uh, in the finals? Same as me and you. Two minutes. Okay, so yeah, two T-Mac more minutes. Had, than I did. Yeah, T Mac <laughs> had two minutes in that in that final series. Okay, I like I like T Mac, man. I like T Mac, but I'm looking at the players that they snubbed, in particular Chris Webber. Yeah, you yeah. look at uh, the you know their career points, rebounds, and assists. Mm-hmm. T Mac was eighteen five and four. Uh, Chris Webber was seventeen eight and four. Mm-hmm. How did C. Webb get the snub? That's what I'm and, saying. And have more uh, playoff success. You got other Tracy I mean, McGrady And had. I think the same people that we're talking about, they, I mean, injuries got them. Yeah. You know, Penny, Grant Hill, you know, all those people are like, how do, I don't see how T Mac got in, man. I mean, I when, when, when you brought up the point, I was like, at first I thought about, yeah, T Mac got in. And I thought about, like, dang, you know, he really didn't do a lot. Yeah, that's, you know? that's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, 18,000 points is a lot, but I mean, Chris Webber had 17,000 points. Yeah, and Chris Webber was the man on a, on a championship run. They just couldn't beat the, uh, yeah, the Lakers. They man. Could, couldn't get over the hump with the Lakers, but I mean, T Mac couldn't even get out of the first round. Yeah. Like, yo, uh, yeah. like that's what's Hall of Fame uh, worthy these days? I guess, I, man. I don't, I don't want to slander the man because I, I really do like T-Mac. I do like him, but he bought that, somebody lunch. I mean, something happened. Like, he <laughs> sold his house or something. I don't... I don't know what happened, but I just don't. I don't. I don't see how he got in before some of the other people were talking about. In the last handful of years, man, we're looking at we got Robin, Jordan, Pippen, Shaq, AI, T Mac. Right. Like yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That definitely is odd. All right, man. Let's get to this uh, music news here. We had so Drake is going back to acting. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I heard the, the series is going to be in. It's going to be kind of dope, too. You know what? I think it'll be a, a good little look, especially the fact that it's going to be a U.K. show from what I was seeing. And, you mm-hmm. know, a lot of times these shows that do well in the U.K., they adapt and bring them over to the U.S., and they do really well. World domination. World domination, you know Drake, what I'm saying? Man. Uh, another plot for world domination. Is he going to get gigs in there, though? He should. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants the show to be any good, man, bring Batman on. <laughs> da, 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 da. Bring him. You know gigs get all the way out of here, man. <laughs> All right, man. So Kendrick comes out Friday. What are, what are we expecting? Man, we got uh, what, Humble yes. just dropped uh, last week, man. Yep. Really excited for that. The hard part for you, even mm-hmm. though that, that probably won't be a part of the track listing. I'm actually wondering if Humble will be a part of the track listing. I know. I don't think so. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I don't I don't know what to expect. I'm excited, though. I will oh, yeah. tell you that. I'm Coming off of Two Pimper Butterfly, I'm wondering like, what angle is it going to go. Is it going to be another concept album? Or is it going to be just him just... I don't know what it's going to be. It, it sounds like he got a lot on his mind. It does. You know, so it's like with him, I love the fact that you don't know what you're going to expect. And also, just to piggyback on that too, Joy Badass's project comes out, which I think is going to be very good as well. Yeah. It just sucks he's coming out the same day as Kendrick. Um, but I think it's going to be some good music to come out that day, man. Yeah, I, if I was uh, if I was Joey, I would probably push back a week, or I, I would have moved to this past Friday because I don't think anything. Nothing, yeah, nothing. No, really came nothing. Out. You know, I think we got Kodak and yeah. you know Freddie and all them guys. But right, um, yeah, uh, I would have probably pushed it up a little bit, but mm-hmm. uh, it ought to be a good weekend, man. But I'm really excited. I, from what I've heard so far, I don't think that uh, Kendrick is going to hit a wall with this being his third no, project. No, and that's tough. I mean, when you had two critically acclaimed albums, like it, it's tough to come back and give a third offering if he if he does his thing on this album i think he's got to be in the goat talk we're gonna talk about it but i think with both of the projects with um uh the good kid mad city and um to butterfly was two totally different angles yeah and i was wondering what his third one's gonna be was it gonna be something totally different is he gonna get to something different you know i mean i don't know what it's gonna be but one thing i do know is probably gonna be it's gonna be dope yeah he's gonna be rapping his butt off there you go so we'll look we're gonna review that on saturday so that'll be up saturday keep Um, your eyes peeled definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one all right, man. So, Life of Pablo was the first album to go platinum from streaming. Yeah. Listen, I don't even know how they how do you how do they tally streams? Like, you just count the numbers. 
I guess so, man. I guess for people who played through the whole album, I, I'm not 100% sure on how that actually works. But yeah. you know what? I felt like uh, that speaks to Kanye's impact culturally. Like, you know, even though his music hasn't been great, you know, the, <laughs> for the, a little while now, uh-huh. like Kanye's cultural impact is like... It's huge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unheard huge. of. Like, guys follow this guy like, you know, mm-hmm. he is a deity. Oh man, they, they they from the from the way he dresses, people will dress yes. like him. Yes. Which I think the way he dresses is whack. I, I mean like the way he dressed no, before, you know, the pink polo Kanye was like normal guy wearing polos, you know, kinda like normal people rap wear, I mean, I'm sorry. But then now it's like he's got a different style with the man, big he got huge the dag swag now. The, yeah, the huge uh T shirts with the tight jeans and the big old boot looking shoes. I mean them Roche run looking them Kanye's are just Roche runs, man. Man, like, nah. Last couple times I've seen him, man, it looked like Kanye was making a corner store run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's hopping out of a pickup truck. Some track or pants yeah. and a you know a, a holy t shirt and just some nondescript hoodie is like. Man, I still think that movie Get Out is about Kanye. And until hey, until that blonde hair, uh, man. that blonde hair got me, man. I, th- yeah. I still think that that movie's about Kanye. Yeah, but, but I, listen, man, he's I still digress. moving them units somehow. Absolutely, so, people. Know, the kids love Kanye. him. I don't, hey man, I love I love Kanye too, man. I mean, we missed the old Kanye. Yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. Get out of here, Kanye. All right, man, so last thing we had, man, Beyonce dropped a new video. <laughs> Hove is the goat, comes <laughs> through, eliminate, unscathed, <laughs> makeup joint album possibly on the way. Thoughts? Can I just say I called it? You did. I, 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 saw, through did. The, I saw through the writing on the wall. Man. Everybody said, man, she air Hove out, man. Mm-hmm. It's over for Hove. You did. I'm like, listen, man, you as long it. as I've been watching Jay-Z, man, Jay ain't never took no L's. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? He came through that completely unscathed, man. Just made probably $100 million yeah. real quick. And the Love album's coming now. Yeah, not a Love album. The Love joint album is coming is what if, I'm saying. Because they, they dropped the one single a couple weeks ago that's been uh-huh. kind of, Like, I hear a lot on the radio, but I don't hear a lot about it anymore. But yeah. uh, And then Beyonce just dropped that track yesterday. Just talking about how much she's in love with Hope. She and, loves her husband, man. Hey, man, listen. Beyonce sold y'all a dream. <laughs> being upset with your man you know what I'm saying she was at home happy you know I saw the play hey, I, saw I will the play. say the bigger picture in all this though is on the video and like we've seen a whole bunch it's always in all Beyonce's videos is a bunch of footage of their family of them together yeah. and we never see a leak out or anything like that other than the videos where she just decides to let us into their world um, and Jay just goes along with it because you know this is you know, yeah. what it is he's family man Jay and um, I think that they're going to come out with a documentary later and later I would say after probably about maybe nine, ten years from now, and it's going to do like Lion King numbers. <laughs> They're going to be lined up to see it because it's just what it is. We've seen them do, and I think about it is their relationship is just like any other normal relationship. Yeah. You know, they've had problems. They had a crazy sister try to go at him in, in the elevator. We all have been there. Yeah. You know, and, 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 you know, she she aired Jay out on the album, and now it's the Love album. They got twins on the way. Hey. Man, I, I was listening to uh, some earlier Hove uh, mm-hmm. earlier. That, we were talking about that, yeah. He, he foreshadowed his life. Like, he actually, he, he told us, you know, many moons ago back in the 90s that all this stuff was going to happen. Really? Yeah. Like, if you really go back and listen to Reasonable Doubt, Volume 1, Volume mm-hmm. 2, He's he's telling you all of this is about to happen. Like, yo, I'm about to blow up. I'm gonna marry the baddest thing out there. Uh-huh. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna be rich and famous. I'm just gonna do everything. And right. booyah! And, and look at him. He's living it. He's yeah, living man. it. Man. Hold the goat. He's the goat, man. I like the guy not, in the corner Nas, here, man. Yeah. Not Nas. Nas is definitely not the goat. Yeah. Definitely. Jay Z won. Nas lost, man. I remember seeing him on the when he was with the Nets and he was doing the draft thing. I'm like, this dude was talking about selling crack five years ago. Like, no, and like, look at him now. He's like, family man, hove. And immune to L's. Immune to L's, man. Yeah. Jay-Z won. He won in life. Yeah. You know? But yo, man, thanks for rocking with us today. Game Music Life Podcast is in the books. Episode 66. Six. Nas yep. lost once again. Holla J. Nas lost part 12. Part 12. Whatever it is, in man. In the books. In the books. This is Nate here. This Kev. Two-thirds of Super Group that's Game Music Life. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace. Uh-oh. 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 Get your bevel blade. <laughs> <laughs>